with increased technology, faster internet, and gadgets. We all have created a need for speed or increased performance for our personal computers. So today, we will discuss some easy techniques that will surely increase the performance of our computers. Startup Program Task Manager Right-click on Start Menu and select Task Manager. Select Startup tab from the menu. This will display all the programs that run when computer starts. This may slow down the speed of the computer. So you can disable them as per need. For example, we don't need Spotify app, so we disable it. Now go to Processes tab. This will display all the applications and programs running currently on your computer. If you don't need any program, just select it, right click, and click end task. Similarly you can remove background processes that slows your computer. But, remember, do not remove the programs, which, Windows, is using for system operations. Defragment, and, Optimize Drives. In the Start menu, go to, Windows Administrative Tools. Select, Defragment, and Optimize Drives. Now select C Drive, or any other drive, with Windows installed. It will start optimizing C Drive, to run Windows more efficiently. This process may take long time, but we will speed up the video to save time. Now, you can also set the optimization schedule. Click on, change settings button, and, set the optimization frequency, to, daily, weekly, or monthly. Also, you can check, and select, the drives you want to optimize. Delete temporary files and folders. A temporary file is created to hold information temporarily during the program operation. After the program is closed, the temporary file should be deleted. But many temporary files are left unclosed during the abnormal shutdown or application hang. To delete temporary files, go to taskbar search and type, percent temp percent. This will display, all temporary files, and folders, created during file processing. Type Ctrl A, to select files. And then delete all files. Files which are currently open in any program, will not be deleted. You may need to give administrator permission, for some files. Once done, close the window. Again, right click on start menu. Select run. Type, temp, and press OK. Press continue to provide, administrator permission. Type Ctrl A, to select all files. And then delete all files. Of course, files which are currently open in any program, will not be deleted. Disk, cleanup. Select C Drive, from, this PC option. Now right click, on C Drive and select, Properties.
select disk cleanup option to remove unnecessary files from your computer. Now check and mark the options to remove the file types like temporary internet files, recycle bin, etc. Don't worry. It will not remove any important file. Press OK and delete files. empty recycle bin and refresh this is very simple but very effective always make sure to empty recycle bin to permanently remove deleted files just click on recycle bin icon and select empty recycle bin to refresh windows right click anywhere on desktop and select refresh download C cleaner Go to any browser. Search for File Hippo. And click on FileHippo.com. Look for CCleaner for PC Windows. Download and install the free version of CCleaner. Once installed, run the program. Click on Analyze, to analyze your computer system, make sure, all browser are closed. Once analyzed, it will display the amount of trackers and junk files in your system. Press Clean All, to remove all junks and optimize. Once complete, click on hidden icons, in the taskbar. Remove CCleaner, by right click on its icon, and press exit. Windows, Storage, Sense. Right click on desktop, select display setting, Then select Storage tab. Storage Sense can automatically free up space by cleaning unnecessary files, like temporary files etc. Switch on Storage Sense. Now click on Configure Storage. Here, you can configure storage settings, like how many days you want to keep files in Recycle Bin etc. battery, or power options. Right click on start menu. Select power options. Here, you can manage different options for battery or power. Also, you can manage additional power settings. 
Here also, you can manage different power settings, or restore, the default settings. In the advanced settings, please be careful, before selecting any settings. This is all, what we have, in today's session. Hope you have enjoyed, and learned something new. Take care. God bless. Goodbye.